Guys, breaking news. Today, IRCC held its first ever category specific express entry draw. You heard that right. IRCC held its draw number 252 for express entry and surprisingly this was a category specific draw only june the 28th 2023 first time ever so we have been hearing about bill c19 for over a year now everybody has been eagerly waiting we have had you know multiple con uh, consultations multiple conversations around social media everybody has been waiting for first bill c19 then ircc had shared a couple of categories then people had uh, been waiting for category specific draws after all of that drama and the buildup of the story, finally, the summer of 2023, IRCC held its first ever draw and the results are out. Not only that, uh, people have been invited and IRCC, the immigration minister also said the plan for the next week, more draws upcoming, more uh, categories will be invited. So in this video today, we will be discussing everything about the first ever category specific draw and the second draw which will be out very very soon so let's discuss all of that detail in this video today please be tuned till the end my name is sahil guys welcome back once again my name is sahil i'm a regulated canadian immigration consultant and i practice here in ontario guys this channel is all about canadian immigration updates tips tricks program updates and everything you want to know so if you are an immigration aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, without further ado, the main news of this particular video is the express entry draw number 252, which was held today on June the 28th, 2023. The most awaited category specific draw was held for the healthcare sector, the healthcare workers and the people with the healthcare uh, related work experience so we will talk about which occupations were invited but before that uh, 500 invitations were sent out uh, today itself and the uh, minimum crs was kept at 476 the try uh, the tie breaking rule was set to november 12 2022 and everybody you know those 500 people would have received these invitations by now Guys, another important thing to note with regards to today's draw is the eligibility criteria which you really need to focus upon before you actually claim your points. Now, very specific, uh, specifically, IRCC says that the uh, eligible foreign national is a member of the category if they meet the following requirements and the requirements are uh, within the three year period preceding the day on which the category was established, they have accumulated over a continuous period. So where the keyword here is continuous. Uh, at least six months of full-time work experience or equivalent in part-time in one occupation referred in the table below. Now, the kind of uh, occupations that were invited are, so uh, it starts with audiologists, chiropractors, dentists, uh, dietitians, education counselors, you have kinesiologists, then you have licensed practical nurses, massage therapists, medical uh, laboratory technologists, you have sonographers, nurse aides, nurse practitioners, other assisting occupations of health services, then you have paramedical occupations, you have pharmacy technicians, you have physiotherapists, psychologists, then you have specialists in clinical and laboratory medicine, then you have uh, therapists in counseling and related specialist therapies, we have veterinarians. So guys, all in all, these are the people who have been uh, rolled out. So today's 500 people draw above 476. If your knock code was there, and you had six months of continuous work experience in the last three months preceding the category was established, then you should be eligible for this. Overall, you would have more years of work experience because you would need that to get a better score, obviously above 476. But all in all, this is the requirement as per IRCC for today's draw. Guys, uh, the immigration minister came out in the open since this was a very, very special draw. He declared this draw along with an announcement and that announcement was very special because the immigration minister said that um, not only this particular 500 draw, so this was a sort of a test fire for them. Within the next one week, they will be holding you know, uh, more draws and within that 1500 people will be invited. He has not yet disclosed you know, whether it's going to be one category only or multiple, but he definitely said that the STEM category will be invited in the next draw. So 5th of July is the draw for STEM category. How many people of STEM will be there that we will get to know whether it will be an all program or the other categories of trade, transportation as well. We don't know as of yet because it did not uh, say, you know, it will be a STEM only draw, but he said 
another category specific draw next week july the 5th stem will happen and 1500 people will be invited so uh, another thing to note here ircc said that they are phasing it very slowly so 500 then 1500 they will start picking up the speed they are doing it slowly in small numbers so as to transition smoothly into this maybe there could be any draws any issues or whatsoever so they're slowly transitioning into this and they will pick up speed going forward that's what the guys said so guys overall this is a good initiative by ircc they have been working really hard on this uh, you know the the draws have been going around the announcements have been going around for over a year now the uh, i believe the immigration minister has done a, a good job in terms of establishing this uh, category because it sort of gives the opportunity to knock codes on lower cutoffs say for example people with trade experience people with transportation people in stem categories so they will get lower you know cutoffs and hopefully people will be getting draws obviously a lot of knock codes will be left out because they will be a part of the all program draws where we expect the draws to go higher so you know kind of losses in, in a couple of places but kind of benefits in a couple of places obviously it will have a rollover impact i think uh, let's look at a couple of next draws and try to assess what kind of an impact it will have overall i think it's a good news hearty congratulations to everybody guys be prepared for the next week july the 5th will be very very special we will keep you obviously posted with all the updates and uh, any happenings in the world of immigration with regards to Canada. If you want to discuss any of your personal situation or details, feel free to schedule a consultation with us. We would be more than happy to speak with you. Once again, we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.